right, what's next? All this talk of minions is making me so happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, The Hollywood Reporter reports that Naomi Harris, a recent Oscar nominee for supporting actress in Moonlight, has signed on to star alongside Dwayne Johnson in Rampage, <laughs> New Line Cinema's adventure <laughs> film based on the 1980s video game of the same name. The movie, about a transformed gorilla, crocodile, and wolf wreaking havoc in North America, will feature Johnson as an animal-loving hero who is the world's only hope in stopping the destruction. Harris sparked to the fun tone of the script and decided to star opposite The Rock as a geneticist with a moral streak. Rampage is set to release in theaters on April 20th, 2018. Clark, thoughts on Naomi Harris joining The Rock in Rampage the movie? I Well, as and I have to say, Ray, great job with that graphic. Because we're all sitting here giggling our, our faces off at this. Um, I love I love this for Naomi Harris. Uh, the first time I became aware of her was in 28 Days Later. And mm. she is a badass. She's a great action star. She's an incredible actress. Um, she, has, she was super fun in the Pirates movies. So I like seeing her in a big franchise. And, and I think putting her opposite uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson would be a lot of fun, especially considering this premise. So I'm all for it. Jeremy? This is absurd. I didn't even know they were making a Rampage movie. They're I know. Like, we were sitting yeah. around the pre-production meeting. We are talking about this. And you just, wait, wait. Th they're making a Rampage I know, I was movie? Like, <laughs> I was like, there's only one Rampage I know. And that's the game that took me about five hours to beat because there were no saves. But I got through it. I went around the entire <laughs> United States, beat down every building. Uh, this is great for her. In the end, I have to pull back and go, wait a minute. I saw Assassin's Creed and every other video game movie <laughs> beforehand. I hope it's good, but it is a video game movie. And so far, they if there's one thing that can uh, that has a worse track record in the eyes of everybody than, than DC movies right now, it's video game movies. So I hope it works out for her. I hope the movie's good, but we'll see what happens. Uh, you know what? If they go for the same feel that they did with San Andreas, which is a yeah. ridiculous, nonsensical movie in every aspect, but was kind of fun to watch. They do that makes it, this is actually a good move for her too, because look, you're gonna get, she's got a great spotlight on her right now because of Moonlight, right? Go get that paycheck movie. Yeah. Go do that, right. go uh, get a high pro. You star lying side of the rock now, you're gonna have more eyeballs. Cause not, let, let's face it, no matter how good Moonlight was, not a ton of people saw it. You star alongside The Rock, a lot of people are going to know who you are now. It's a great career move. And I know she's saying she read the script and loved it. Just once, I would love to hear an actor who just got cast in movies saying, yeah, I looked at the script and it was kind of crappy, but, but, uh, but I think maybe it could work out anyway. I would <laughs> yeah. love to hear one actor once say, I read the script and it wasn't any good. When's this movie coming out? Is this, uh, Next year, right? Yeah, April think, uh, 20th, 2018. 2018. So, hey, this one, all right, so we're not going to have Godzilla versus King Kong yet, but we're going to have the GoBots Godzilla and King Kong in Rampage, <laughs> and I can look forward to that enough. Christian. I think it's a really smart move. And first to address the, the video game thing, the difference, yeah. I think, with... Assassin's Creed and these other movies, especially Assassin's Creed, is pretty like it's a complex story as far as how you figure all that out and decide whether or not, which I think was the bad move, to spend too much time in the modern day and not enough time in the past. Um, there's just so much to do there. This is just a stupid monster movie, which you can have a lot of fun with. You don't have to worry about too much. Like John was saying with San Andreas, you just there's people aren't going to be like, well, that's not what it was like in the video game. All you got to do is have monkey smash windows and a lizard burn something. And then, okay, you're being true to the video game. As far as uh, Harris goes, I think that this is a great choice for her. A lot of what you were saying here, too, because, it, and Clark, you brought up all the movies that she had been in the past, but now people are really talking about her because of what she did and the acting chops that she showed in Moonlight. By putting yourself in a spotlight like this, it is a smart career choice for an actor or an actress to do something like this because I want to get past the days of the Sam Worthington, Jai Courtney, um, you know, Taylor Kitsch shoving it in your face. That's your next movie star. Do it right. The reason Tom Cruise is a movie star is because he took smaller little roles, built himself up, peppered himself in there, and you said, oh, that's someone to watch. That's someone to watch. If she does things like this and she starts putting herself, that's how you build the reputation with the audience by showing that you can do something like Moonlight and then you're in a silly big dumb action movie like Rampage but you still brought gravitas <laughs> to it because you have those kind of chops we remember that kind of stuff and that way when you do another smaller one oh maybe people who didn't see Moonlight that's the girl from Rampage and then <laughs> there's people who've seen people who've seen Oscar movies that, that go oh I got dragged out to see Rampage 
That's the girl from Moonlight. It adds something to it. So I think it's a very smart move that she's doing this. We also saw uh, after Brie Larson won the Oscar, right. yeah. Captain Marvel was basically yep. the yeah. first thing that was announced. I'm one not... for me, one for them. Exactly. Yeah. And I think it's, it's exactly what you're saying. And I'm glad that she's sort of following suit. I would like to uh, clarify that I was saying Assassin's Creed. I was using it as the spearhead to the 20 years of garbage oh, predating. I, 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 I'm with you. I, I agree. It, it, it has been in a crap heap lately. But I just this is this, you think this one. Is it? Well, it, it doesn't really. There's, it's not following suit to anything. So there's, there's no there's no storyline that we're so we hope we, they can pull it off. That yeah. is the advantageous thing. They do have the freedom to build a story yeah. around the destruction.